working on a Cummins engine. This is an ISL 9, but this is relevant for basically any Cummins engine, especially the ISBs and the ISLs. But I get this code frequently for exhaust gas recirculation system data valid but below normal operating range 3382 or this one here 1866 EGR pressure data erratic intermittent or incorrect and I'm going to show you uh, what is most often uh, the cause for that code those codes so you see here this is the uh, part of the EGR system this is your EGR valve, your crossover pipe that goes to your EGR cooler. And then this is your intake. And so right here, this guy, that is your differential pressure sensor. That reads the, the differential pressure between, uh, I don't know, the intake and the, and the EGR. But I'm, on this engine, it's a lot easier to see. On the ISBs, you, you can't see it from the front. You have to actually remove the EGR valve in order to, um, well, not the valve, but the housing in order to get to this. But if you look right there, you see a, like a four millimeter Allen key bolt. What you want to do is remove this bolt a little plug <coughs> and I'll show you in this port if I can get the camera to focus you can see that that is plugged up with soot when that gets plugged up with soot it'll give your EGR differential pressure a false reading. Let me show you what happens when I poke through there. Oh yeah, I could feel it. Uh, very stiff. A lot of a lot of soot in there. Quite a bit of soot built up in that porthole and that's probably what's causing your EGR codes and your bad differential pressure so clear that out real good and that should take care of the code here's what the uh, ISB EGR system setup usually looks like crossover pipe EGR valve here's your differential pressure sensor and that little allen key that you're looking for is is back there you can see it right there so the only way to get to that is to basically remove this whole setup which is mainly just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts and gaskets, so 